hope you're having a great day. So I got up, I got all my plants outside and I am going to water in my lavender and water in some of my seedlings. I really need to get the drip set up to my perennials. Um, usually they don't need it this time of year, but I have a lot of the lines. I just need to do the main line, but I'm just going to go ahead and water them in anyway, because I don't know when I transplant things, I like to give them a good deep water. Um, and it's been a couple of days. It's been nineties. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to water in the seedlings that I planted late last night. Um, I have a bouquet to make today. Um, I need to get the air conditioner in the kitchen because otherwise when I'm making the bouquet, the flowers will wilt and I'm going to plant as many seeds as I can today. So it's going to be a busy day. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of footage of it and I'm going to get started. Oh my gosh, watering is one of the most peaceful jobs, I think, on the farm. Even though normally I just turn on drip and go. Um, but it's kind of fun to like spray everything. I even spray my peonies. I was like, well, you need to drink too while I'm here. <laughs> so I gave kind of everything a drink. I'm going to continue to do so. I was going to take you on down closer. I forgot that I had to put my air conditioner in, so I did that really quick and my setup was out here and I didn't run back and get it all. So that's done. So I could do a bouquet this afternoon and it won't wilt and die. And so now I'm gonna put these grasses in and then I'll just work from there and see how much I can get done this morning. Okay, those are done. Hopefully there'll be a nice little sparkle to the bouquets I do this year. We'll see. Um, I ended up only having 20 feet of it total and I had planned for 40. So I'm gonna mark it so that I know I can add some more stuff at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna put in Adjuratum. Okay, I found a mixed tray of frosted explosion grass, of ageratum, and of yarrow. So I just went through those in really quick because they were kind of all over the place. And then I found one more tray of ageratum. I think I might even have more at home, but I think I'm getting to the breaking point, but I do have some extra spots, so who knows? I don't know if I need that much, but we'll see what happens. I'd rather have that than weeds um, because I can always cut on it if I need to. I'm gonna try to get this done before lunch and then that way during the hotter part of the day I can make that bouquet and hopefully get it delivered and then maybe come back tonight to get a couple more trays done. the bouquet delivered and I decided that it was 93 degrees and tomorrow in the morning is 68 degrees when I'm normally out there 
so I decided I am done planting for the day. Why, why would I torture myself like that when I can get up tomorrow and it is going to be a beautiful 70 degree day. I'm so excited for that. I thought I'd give you a quick look. You guys saw all the daffodils and everything coming up back here and they're starting to slowly die. Don't you love this phlox? And then that's some baby's breath that I steal for bouquets. It's gorgeous. And then now I've got a bunch of irises coming up. Ooh, my alliums popped. Uh-oh. I was going to take those for bouquets. A lot of irises. They're just white irises. And then there's another phlox up here in the corner that's really pretty. <laughs> I need to deadhead all of my daffodils. I've got some lilies going to come up. These tulips. And then this phlox is really pretty right now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow.